During his 27 years as Pope, John Paul II canonized so many people that some dubbed the Vatican the Saint Factory. Nearly 500 saints were canonized under his watch, compared to 300 in the previous 600 years. But now his own legacy is under question. Some Catholics are asking if declaring him a saint in 2014 may have been too hasty. Reuters Vatican correspondent Philip Pulella has been following the story. John Paul's beatification cause, canonization cause, um, was controversial from the start. If a pope uh, is declared a saint, and then many years later, or even a few years later, information comes out that would doubt the original process, um, this, this could shake the faith of people, uh, the church's um, ability to deal with these things, to, to make these declarations. For John Paul II, that information seems to have arrived in the form of Theodore McCarrick. He was a star of the US church who was expelled from the priesthood last year after an internal investigation found him guilty of sexual abuses of minors and adults and abuse of power. John Paul promoted McCarrick in 2000 to be Archbishop of Washington DC, despite persistent rumours of sexual misconduct. Last week, the Vatican issued a report on the ex-cardinal, which has raised questions once again on John Paul's sainthood. The McCarrick report uh, again uh, raised the possibility that John Paul had turned a, a blind eye to reports of sexual abuse. Um, and this is the same thing that, 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 that surfaced uh, when he became a saint in 2014. John Paul's sainthood was already questioned even before the McCarrick report. The debate cuts to the heart of how sainthood works and how fast it should move in modern times. In the early church, um, people were just declared saints by acclamation. So uh, essentially, it's just people, when, when someone died, they, you know, the community decided that this person was a, a very holy person and just was declared a saint. Then in the Middle Ages, there was trafficking and fake relics and things like that. So anyway, it was institutionalized later with, with a process that lasted for centuries. The process of sainthood is rigorous and originally could not start until 50 years after a person's death. But John Paul cut it to five years and permitted fast-track exceptions. When his successor, Pope Benedict XVI, was elected in 2005, he waived the rule, allowing John Paul's cause to start only weeks after he died. As a result, he was declared a saint just nine years later. If you consider that sometimes canonization process take decades, uh, and centuries. Um, this took this took only nine years. That said, we're living in modern times where it's much much easier to gather information, so things move uh, a lot faster than they did before.